Good evening. Tonight we are going to discuss Marigu and her place in Irish mythology. Marigu literally means Great Queen. She is a major figure in Ton Bokulin, the war against Ulster by the Connacht Queen Maeve and her husband, Ail. During the battles, she hinders Cúhulin by attacking him in animal form. The tales from the legend of Tan Bukulin make it clear that her loyalties are with the Tuatha de Danann and the Celtic tribes of Connacht, and not with the Ulster hero Cúhulin. She has a threefold nature in her own right, and is another example of the traditional triple goddess in Irish form. As a warrior goddess, Morugu is extremely active and aggressive. She is vengeful and drowns enemies beneath the waves of the sea, protecting the Dedanan from their enemies. As one aspect of the goddess Bav, Morugu is the greatest and most powerful. When the Dedanan first arrived in Ireland, Morugu used her magics to spread clouds over the country. These clouds caused the air to pour down fire and blood upon the Fierbelogs, who were the current occupants of Ireland. The Fierbelogs sought shelter and were ultimately defeated by the Dedanan. Much later, Morugu takes an active role in aiding the Dedanan against other enemies. She infuses strength and courage into Lu, causing him to win the war for the Tuatha de Danann, conquering the Fomorians at last. Morugu flies across battlefields, either in her own form or that of a Royston crow, making herself visible only to those whose life will soon be over. To some, she appears as a young woman dressed in brightly colored clothes embroidered with threads of gold. To others, she is a hag dressed in a dark cloak and barely visible. For Morugu, changing her shape is only a game, and she plays this game well. Regardless of her frequent shape changes, Morugu is the crone aspect of the goddess. Thank you for watching. Tune in next time when we discuss Nemin and her place in the Irish pantheon. Blessed be.